Hi, I'm Hayam El Sahardi, the Social Emotional Learning Consulting Teacher for Seattle Public Schools. Today I'd like to share with you how increasing your self-awareness through focusing on your personal strengths can be a helpful way to support your well-being through this time. So being a high school teacher for about 10 years, I can tell you that the best thing about it was the fun. My fun, your fun. Uh, seeing you all laugh and grow and learn together, watching you make friends, achieve your goals, pick your colleges, uh, laughing at each other's jokes and your teacher's lame ones. Seeing you all have fun was the best. Uh, but that definition of fun has changed right now and I know that you know life is different. There's no game or meet to practice for, no play tryouts or dances. The causes which you've cared about may feel like pauses now. It's a lot to take in. It's, you're not alone. Uh, this global pandemic has taken away a lot for now. But what it hasn't taken away nor ever will are what you're good at, your strengths. Your strengths are what you're good at and are a part of what makes you your unique self. So some examples of strengths are kindness, generosity, integrity, honesty, or friendliness. Uh, being able to name your strengths can give you a sense of control in what may seem like a chaotic environment right now. The sense of control can keep you feeling safe, cap capable, and confident during these trying times. Knowing and naming your assets and strongest abilities serve as a reminder of all you can do and still have, and how you can continue to develop these for the future. Because the future is still out there. And I get that a time like this, you may feel like you aren't good at anything, but we all know that isn't true and it's just a momentary feeling. And while the overwhelm may have fogged your self-perception, I encourage you to use these hardships to map uh, as a map, uncovering strengths you didn't even realize you had. So can you think of something really hard right now or that's happened and turn it into a positive or a strength that you have? So like, have you taken on extra responsibilities at home and are feeling stressed and still trying to keep up with schoolwork? You're resilient. Have you asked for help when you've needed it? And I say you have courage. Or have you pushed through a tough situation at home or with school? Then I'd say you have perseverance. How you choose to define your strengths is up to you. What may be viewed as a strength in one family may not in another and that's great. We're all amazingly original, so let's honor that. You may find that naming your strengths will not only help you, but help those around you. For example, if you identify and name one of your strengths as being outgoing, then you may be a great person to help sustain connections with your classmates and friends. Remember, strengths are more than just academic or athletic. They can be found within arts, culture, understanding people, languages, your interpersonal and intrapersonal skills, or even having an in-depth understanding of the world around us. You know, this time in the world, this global pandemic, it's affected everyone. Uh, bring your focus back to all you have to offer can add that sense of grounding, which we all need. Through increasing your self-awareness, you'll be able to not only identify your strengths, but also clear the way for you to authentically identify those areas in which you may feel like you'd like to grow in. Through developing an increasingly accurate self-perception, this can help you cultivate your existing strengths and utilize them in ways at this time to not just help you survive, but perhaps even thrive. Think about painting, literally or proverbial, proverbially, um, your story right now. Uh, how would you use your strengths at this time to help yourself and those around you? What would make you proud to share? I send some magical stories or paintings. Thank you so much for giving me this space in your life to talk uh, about how important knowing, naming, and using your strengths are. Not important now, but always. Uh, thank you and have a great day and be well.